one of the things is I think lots of people in our communities and in our rural areas here believe that First Nations have a lot more rights or a lot more benefits than they do. So, and I think that causes a lots of uh, stereotype and a lots of discrimination. But that's not true in the sense that if we live off the reserve, we pay taxes, we pay property taxes, we pay taxes in our gas, we pay taxes in our food. It's not, it's just if you work on the reserve and if you live on the reserve and your organization is on the reserve. And lots of racism and discrimination happens in the kitchen, right? It happens at home. It happens with families and then it becomes intergenerational and, and those same beliefs follow the families. So I think that's something that if that education goes more into those homes and more into those everyday kind of life and people talk about it, that awareness, then our children and our grandchildren, they will have a more tolerant society. We have to be open-minded when people come in with uh, problems and, and then sit down and talk together about solutions. Like uh, with RMs and, and their ability to, they, they have resources. The First Nations being a small little part in their area, they could share those resources. And not I'm not saying share, but I mean, so the road is half on the RM, the road is half on the reserve. They both can work to build it and to maintain it, where I don't think that's happened in the past. And lots of racism comes from fear. And, and you know, that fear that somebody's, you know, uh, gonna take something from me or they feel threatened. So if we can dispel a lot of that, then I think that will have a lot to do with uh, getting rid of racism and discrimination. I, I really believe that in 2018, uh, we're going to be developing a strategy at SARM to, uh, I think, to create a better working relationship with First Nations communities, especially if, uh, with FSIN. Uh, we've met with them in the past and uh, we endeavoured to, uh, to uh, sit down and to be able to talk about some of the common issues we have. But we really believe that we have to foster uh, better uh, economic development, um, better service agreements and things like that uh, between our rural communities, our RMs and the First Nation communities. So uh, it's, uh, it's kind of a pledge I think we're making to be able to uh, improve their working relationship between us.